Hello Richard here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a quick look at how you can get your photos that you take on your iPhone camera straight to your desktop Lightroom without doing anything apart from a quick initial setup. So welcome to today's video. Okay, like I said, Richard here. Welcome back to my channel, which is all about photography, Lightroom editing, camera tips and tricks, things like that. So it's good to have you here. Um, as I mentioned at the start there, we are gonna talk today about getting photos from your Lightroom camera straight to your desktop without having to connect your phone by a lead or anything, it's gonna do it all remotely for you. It is a video that I had on another channel that is now just a travel channel, so I wanna bring it over to this photography channel, so it's with all my other photography videos. And it's really simple, you're gonna basically take a photo on your iPhone camera. It's then gonna go into your Photos app, as it always does. It's then gonna go into your Lightroom mobile app, and it's then finally gonna head into your Lightroom desktop, ready for when you get back in front of your screen, and you can edit, move it, do the things you wanna do with it there. So first thing we're gonna do before we worry about any of that is to check Lightroom is set up correctly on the desktop app. So we're gonna do that really quickly. It takes about 10 seconds. Two things that you want to check is that you are signed into your Adobe Lightroom account and we can see we are here, Richard Chubb. And the other thing that we are going to check is that you are syncing over here. Now I have paused it for the purpose of this video. If you want to resume syncing, you are just going to hit there so you can see it is synced, you get the green circle with the tick in it. But for now, I just want to pause it and it will come clear why I'm pausing it when the time comes. So. Okay, so for the time being, that is all you need to do in Lightroom on your desktop. So we're now heading over to the phone. I am just real quick gonna start recording my screen. Okay, so here we are in the Lightroom mobile app. And as you can see, there are no photos as yet in the library catalog in Lightroom mobile. A Couple of things we need to do in here. The first thing is to make sure that you are, well, Let's go back to the settings here by you press the cog in the top right hand corner. And you wanna make sure that you are signed into the same account that you're signed into in your Lightroom desktop. We are, we see Richard Chubb, and that is the same account, I only have the one account. Uh, and the next thing you need to do is to click on import. The one at the top here that says photos, we wanna to toggle that slider on. We don't wanna bring in screenshots, we don't wanna bring in videos, we just wanna bring in any photos. You choose what you wanna bring in. We're just bringing in photos for the time being. And what that will do is when you take a photo, the photo will then go through to your Apple Photos app and that will then sync automatically into Lightroom because we've toggled that on. As it says there, auto add from camera roll. But it will only do it from this point. So it's not gonna bring in all the old ones. So it's just gonna do it from the time you toggle it on. We're now gonna quickly come back to the settings and we're just gonna double check cloud storage and sync because these photos will upload to Adobe servers and into Lightroom desktop later on and it will use cellular data or it will use your data allowance unless you turn this option off here which is use cellular for sync. I'm happy to keep it on so that is all good to go and that's really all we need to do. Again, we are in all photos, there's no photos there. We are gonna head back to the, to the camera. This is the iPhone native camera that we all have, if you've got an iPhone. And we're just gonna take a few photos around the office. So bear with me. One, two, three, four, five, five. So we have taken those five photos Okay, so we've taken those five photos. They will have gone from the camera into the camera roll on your iPhone and they've already appeared, how quick was that? Into Lightroom desktop. Sorry, they've appeared into your Lightroom mobile app, as you can see on the, wherever I've put the, uh, the screen here. Um, you remember a little while ago I synced the, I paused the syncing on the Lightroom desktop. That is because I didn't want them to come through without us being on the screen. So we're gonna look at the Lightroom desktop screen now. And I am gonna come up to the top right hand corner here and I'm going to start syncing. And what that is gonna do, it's gonna bring in those five photos that I've taken 
straight into the, um, you can see them here, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just close that quickly. Straight into Lightroom desktop. Over the right hand side here, you can see where it says imported photos. So when Lightroom has done its thing, those five photos will appear here. It can take a few minutes. If it does, I will speed it up. If it doesn't, they'll appear now. But we'll just give it a second to sync through as long as we have everything synced here. And there we go, they are, they have appeared. One, two, three, four, there's one missing. Where's the fifth photo? There we go. So all five photos are now in a special folder on your desktop. You can see them here, imported photos. Let's say that you've created a folder, for example, because you've just been on holiday, you've got all your proper photos from your main camera, your DSLR or your mirrorless or whatever you're using. Um, and you want to mix these photos with them. You've set your folder up already in your catalog. You just need to drag them from the imported photos folder over to the Lightroom or over to the folder that you set up in Lightroom on your hard drive. So I am going to just quickly make this a bit smaller because I have here the folder that I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to highlight, let's make sure that we can see all of them. Okay, so this is a folder on my hard drive in my main library, but it's empty at the moment, as you can see here, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone photos directly to Lightroom, iPhone photos, directly. that's the same folder. If you're not sure how that works, there is a video on that coming up if I haven't already released it, but make sure you've highlighted all your photos, Command, Control, A, whatever you use, Mac or PC, and then you just wanna drag them from the library grid view here into the iPhone photos directly to Lightroom. It's gonna move them on the hard drive. It's telling us there that we're moving the files on disk. And while that's happening, this five here will go down to zero. And in the right-hand folder here, which are on my hard drive, you will see these folders or these photos appear in that folder. There we go, how quick was that? and they are now safely stored on my hard drive, ready to edit or to merge with any other photos that I wanna put in that folder. But the key thing is they are on my hard drive in my normal library catalog folder structure. If we head back into the Lightroom mobile app, they are still in the catalog there. And you can remove those if you want to. Once you're done, you can select the photos because you know they're safely stored on your hard drive. Select all, delete, delete five photos, You've just copied them to your hard drive. You don't need them on your phone anymore because you've now got them to do with whatever you wish on your hard drive and in Lightroom master catalog on your desktop. So that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope I've mumbled my way through that in such a way that it made sense. Any comments leave below. Um, I hope you found it useful. Give me a thumbs up if you did because it really helps the channel and all the usual stuff, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you're supposed to do in YouTube. But um, thanks for watching. My name's Richard, and I will see you in the next video.